What exactly is Intel Arc? Intel Arc is the corporation's revolutionary graphics technology that, according to the business, will span multiple generations and cover not only hardware, but also software and services. While Intel hasn't said much about what that means, it could be akin to how NVIDIA not only makes graphics cards, but also software like NVIDIA Broadcast that takes advantage of the graphics card's capabilities, as well as the cloud-based gaming service GeForce Now. The next graphics card series will enable high-end graphics card technologies including mesh shading, real-time ray tracing, AI super sampling, and 4K video upscaling, according to Intel's own website. The news signifies Intel's strong and sustained commitment to gamers and creators everywhere, says Intel VP Roger Chandler, who adds that the team has been working hard to provide first-class and frictionless experiences when these products are available. The Alchemist graphics card is the first in the series to be introduced, but Intel has already revealed product codenames such as Battlemage, Celestial, and Druid that will arrive later, indicating that Intel has a multi-year, and possibly multi-generational, strategy for the GPU brand up its sleeve. When will Intel's first ARC graphics card be available? The first of many Intel ARC graphics cards, codenamed Alchemist, was initially scheduled for availability during Q1 2022, which runs from January to March 2022. While Intel's focus at CES 2022 was on the 12th generation Intel Adler CPUs, the company did hint that the forthcoming GPU has been delivering to OEMs such as Asus, Acer, Dell, Samsung, and MSI for usage in 2022 laptops and desktops, implying that a release isn't far off. However, Intel removed all mentions to a Q1 2022 release from its Intel Arc page on its website just days after the CES 2022 announcement, implying that the release could be pushed out later in the year. For the time being, we're still hoping for a Q1 2022 release, but due to the removal, we may have to wait a little longer. What can the Intel Arc graphics card offer? While Intel has acknowledged the existence of the Intel Arc brand and has revealed that many GPUs are in the works under various codenames, we don't know much about what the first in the line will deliver until early 2022. One tidbit of information we have is that it will be based on Intel's XEHPG, high-powered gaming, microarchitecture, which the company claims will let the card compute advanced graphical capabilities like AI-based supersampling more quickly. At its innovation event in late October, the company revealed a second update, revealing that the next graphics card will have 32 SE cores, each having 16 vector engines and 16 matrix engines, for a total of 512 execution units EUs. As previously stated, the graphics card would support high-end technologies such as ray tracing, AI super sampling, named SAYSS, mesh shading, and 4K video upscaling, implying that it will be a direct competitor to NVIDIA and AMD, two firms that have dominated the graphics card market for years. At Innovation, we got our first glimpse at Intel SAYSS, the company's answer to DLSS and FSR, with the tech operating on the survival game The Rift Breaker. While the short demo lacked a frame rate counter, the AI-powered upscaled 4K image exhibited far more detail than the regular upscaled image. Back in March, Intel claimed that the first SE HPG, now revealed as the Intel Arc GPU, would be 20 times quicker than the Crystal well-integrated graphics solution. The DG2-512EU model is listed as having 512 execution units, for 1096 cores, and an odd 12.8 GB of VRAM, though this could be due to a reporting error, as online rumors say the top-end model has 16 GB of VRAM. The Intel GPU scored 9,017.52 MPX/S in the leaked benchmarks, compared to 8,369 MPX/S for the RTX 3070 T, an increase of 8% in performance, and it's also faster in double float and quad float tests. However, this isn't a consistent theme, as the Intel graphics card trails in both half float and single float testing. It's important to note that these tests aren't reflective of graphics performance in games, but they do give us a sense of Intel's goals. What is the price of the Intel Arc graphics card? This is nearly impossible to forecast at the moment. Not only is this the first Intel Arc GPU to be introduced, so there's no previous pricing to go on, but the graphics card industry is also in disarray. Because of the persistent shortage of components utilized by graphics card manufacturers, 
the stock is limited and costly when compared to the manufacturer's suggested retail price. Consider AMD's Radeon RX 6700 XT desktop GPU, while it has an MSRP of pound 419 479 it will most certainly cost you around pound 700 800 if you buy one right now, and reseller listings can be even more exorbitant. What about laptops though? With Acer's promising performance equal to the RTX 3070 or 3080 in its next Intel Arc-enabled Acer Swift X16, we could be looking at mid to high-end laptop prices. Intel could be in a good position to swoop in with a widely available graphics card at a reasonable price if it can somehow avoid the shortages and get enough stock ready for launch, but we'll have to wait and see for now.